What's up, ladies and gents? And if you're new to the channel, it's your boy Shaka Zulu, and I'm back here for another video, guys. And today, guys, shout out to the boy Unlocking Paradox. Um, he want he he made a comment on one of my recent videos, and he said, "Do a hydroponics versus soil." So today, I'm gonna do a hydroponics versus soil video. Shout out to um, Unlocking Paradox. He's always showing love in the comments, you know, and even also, you know, spreading that that love and that energy and good vibes to you guys in the comments. He's always, you know, conversing with everyone um, on the channel, I feel like, or trying to, you know, send words of encouragement. Shout out to Unlocking Paradox. But um, he said hydroponics versus soil, so that's what we're doing, like I just said. I don't know why I'm saying it again. But <laughs> what's up, guys? A little informative vlog for you guys. So um, if you guys have been with, on the channel for a long time, um, I've never done a hydroponic uh, system grow for cannabis. I've only done soil. And the reason why I did soil is it's for, I feel like um, doing soil is just easier for beginners. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you use soil like your plant, it will bounce back. It will bounce back easier. Um, you don't have to worry too much about the pH of the water because, you know, it, the soil lets it handle um, different pHs much better. Obviously, if you have the right pH and the right everything, your outdoor grow can be the best of the best. But if you're like a beginner like I was, um, you'll still be able to get a plant, get a product, something to smoke, and just just learning the process. Because, you know, also with, you know, that soil, you're getting um, a lot of different um, pests, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you guys watch my um, vlog, I talked about the disadvantages um, that I was going through, and one of them was the pests. Um, and that's what you don't get with the hydroponic system. Um, you get less pests and stuff like that. Obviously, you can still get some pests because some um, insects and stuff still can get in your house, but it's more controlled, you know what I'm saying? Um, but those caterpillars, guys, man, if you watch that vlog, I might, I might even insert a clip um, from that vlog of the caterpillar. Oh man, that thing is, was munching out for a long time on my plant. It got super, it got a nice little size. But um, also like, um, you know, the advantages with a hydroponic system is, you know, you get, you get a better product, uh, you know, the pests. Also, um, it's easier to control the nutrients. Like, I mean, on the, on the, on the back hand of that, obviously it's gonna be hard um, to figure out the right nutrient combinations and stuff like that. Um, but I think overall, it'll be honestly better to have a hydro system. But I mean, you just gotta think about what's good for you also. Um, are you gonna have enough money for the electricity? Um, you also gotta think about waterborne pathogens stuff that's in the water that could affect your plant um but you also you know you can grow more with the hydroponic system i feel like um well i mean with weed you you know weed you have each plant in a different stuff but sometimes you know some people they'll grow outdoor plants all close together just in the ground sometimes and they're fighting for nutrients with the hydroponic system you're not fighting for nutrients and stuff like that um there's honestly a lot of advantages and disadvantages when it comes down to it but um i don't know i would say you know if you're gonna be a beginner and you're gonna start growing weed i would say first start off with a soil because it's easier to um you know it's easier for your plant to come back and not just straight up die uh, die on you they're more resilient and soil in my opinion they're more resilient um sh shout out to my growers out there if you're any of my grower guys out there throw a comment you know you guys can also give your opinion i want to get all the right information to you guys but you know the things i would mainly for me the, the main things i would worry about with the hydroponic system is uh my electricity you know what i'm saying spending hell of money on electricity and then you know also another thing is you know your your water system and stuff like that and all the things you have 
to let your hydro product system um, grow um, without you kind of being there you know what I'm saying because you know it's gonna be sitting in water if you guys don't know what a hydroponic system I kind of should have said this in the beginning it's when you basically let your walk your your plant pretty much sit in water um, it's like on a I forgot what it's called that they put it in but sometimes they put it in this like mossy looking thing someone else someone can tell me in the comments what that is and then they put it in water and you just put the nutrients in the water when needed and stuff like that but with soil you have to put in, uh, nutrients in yourself um, with the water that you feed your plant but also you you'll also get nutrients from the soil um, so you gotta so that makes it a little bit harder too because you have to balance out the, the nutrients you're gonna give it to um, give your plant with the soil and then also the uh, whatever soil you got has nutrients so you have to watch out a little bit um, on the amount of nutrients you're gonna give your plant but that's just me in my opinion obviously you know if you're gonna have a hydroponic system like if you want a hydroponic system your 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 tree is gonna look like this I'm gonna put a picture right here on the screen and it's gonna be more frosty more dense you're gonna get the fullest potential kind of uh, of what your plant could be from the indoor but if you're doing soil which is outdoor you the potential of the outdoor is like I mean you could get pretty good outdoor shout out to Colorado they're the king of mitts and they be doing some good outdoor and then also there's places in California that also does good outdoor but your plant can't reach its full potential it's it's like it'll look like this hopefully I have a picture there but so you'll see the difference between you know what you'll get me personally man my whole dream if I could do my own grow system I would do hydroponics but I would even take it a step further I would do aquaponics if you guys don't know what aquaponics is it's when you use uh, you have kind of like a fish tank next to your um, next to your plant and you're using that water your your plant sitting in fish water basically and you're using the fish as nutrients for your plant um, it's just harder to set up and it that's another thing you know it's just hard to set up hydro aquaponics and making sure that your system's running but once you get everything down and stuff the potential of your flower can be amazing so if you're talking about if we're just talking about because I don't like to you know just give one set answer you know what I'm saying because it's not it's not all black and white you know what I mean it just depends on the person but obviously if you're trying to make that good good bud you're gonna want to do that indoor grow you want that hydroponics if you want some outdoor bud and you're just trying to get some bud to just have or whatever um, then you know you're gonna want to do the outdoors much easier and then also if you're a beginner if you're a beginner it's more you should just try soil first before you go in the hydro unless you have someone teaching you but if you um, if you are you know been growing for a while then hydro might be up your alley but um, in my opinion if we're talking about bud though I would obviously would love to just do an indoor grow the whole time hydroponics aquaponics one of the two that was dope um, I mean if I could if I had the money to just blow it would be definitely aquaponics um, but I do like hydroponics um, but yeah guys I just wanted to do a quick little informative vlog for you guys today a little some something, something to drop for you guys I hope you guys enjoy the vlog remember to eat breathe smoke weed grow some fucking weed honestly let me know in the comments if you guys want me to grow more weed again um, it's been a while since I grew the weed but you know I'm up for the challenge again, you know, and trying to grow the bud. But I hope you guys have a good ass Sunday, a good week. Peace out, guys. Peace. Remember to eat, breathe, smoke, weed. You already done the fives. Peace. Give me a minute, like a good ten minutes. Can we get it to go? <laughs> Just on the smoothest one. Smoothest. Ooh.